I started um, back when I was on the board of now in New York City. I started a, a lot of these men's and women's groups. And uh, one day I went to a, a Ms. Magazine celebration party for its fifth year, I think. And, um, <laughs> and, the, um, and I walked in there and Gloria Seidem and I had, had this, we said we, we had promised each other that we would meet at the party and talk. So here I'm at the party and Gloria and I make eye contact, but she has a number of people that are surrounding her. I have nobody surrounding me. And so, but I'm sort of, you know, winding my way up to, 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 toward her. And, and so, and some guy comes up to me and says, um, are you Warren Farrell? And I go, yes. And he goes, I joined the men's group that you started, but you always start the groups and then leave them and go on to something else like the Long Ranger. And, um, and so, um, I said, oh, that's nice. And I'm sort of being a bit dismissive of him, if I can be self-critical here, um, because I was really focused on getting to make contact with Gloria. And so he then said, but, and I gave up my job and focused full time on raising my son because I had previously, um, you know, neglected a previous son that I had. And I really felt I made a mistake doing that. And so now he's got my attention. And I said, well, what, you're married? And he goes, yes. He says, was your wife okay with this? Because a lot of women are very supportive about their husbands being more involved with their children, but they're not very supportive about the husband taking off full time, earning no money, and being involved with the children. And um, and I said to him, you know, were you earning a decent living before? And he sort of gave me this sort of smileish, a quirkish type of yes smile. And um, and I said, was was your wife okay with this? And and she and he said, he was. There were two things that were crucial. One was the support of my wife, and the other one was the support of the men's group. And I said, that's really phenomenal. Now I'm just forgetting about Gloria. I'm sitting down with him, and for the next hour, he tells me about how meaningful his life has become since he's been raising his son, and how uh, 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 enormous value that's been, and has been the best decision he's ever made in his life, and how his soul opened up, and his heart opened up, and he had had a lot of issues with his own father, and that those seemed to be healing in a way that he had never healed before. And at that point in time, I had just returned from my first book tour and did a lot of TV stuff, and somebody came up to the table after about an hour and said, can I have your autograph? And I look up to him and I say, yeah, sure, just one second, I excuse myself. And the, um, and, and the guy who's asking for the autograph is looking at me very awkwardly, like, and I say, okay, something's, uh, what's happening here? And he goes, well, actually, I, I do really want your autograph. What, what is your name? Uh, I, oh, oh, you're Warren. Yes, I do want your autograph, but I really was actually asking for the other guy's autograph. And I go, just totally embarrassed. Um, and so the guy gives him his autograph and um, says, um, you know, well, what's your name? You must be fairly well known. And um, he goes, I'm John. And I go, I'm Warren. You know that, I guess. And I say, well, John who? And he goes, John Lennon. And I go, <laughs> I go um, oh, wait a minute, you're a, singer. you're a singer, aren't you? And he goes, yes. I said, well, what's the organization, what's the group you sing with? Because I had not had a TV for most of the 20 years prior to this. <laughs> and he goes, the Beatles, at which point in time I knew what a faux pas I had made. <laughs> That's a great story. It was an, ex an amazing experience, but the, the important part of that experience was how here is a man who is one of the most powerful men in the world, telling us that the most important decision he'd ever made in his life was the decision to raise his son, and how that healed him, not his international fame, and the fact that almost nobody in the world would not be able to recognize him except me. And so <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh. So did you ever get to meet Steino? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had met a number of times, but I eventually made a brief connection with her. Um, but, um, but that was the real connection of the evening, obviously. Yeah.